as you see, um, most of it appears to be on an individual level. Uh, Mr. Corporate has just been offered a post of marketing director at EE Sanam Bahad. The annual employment package offered is either 250 in cash or a combination of cash of 150 and following non-cash items. Remuneration design question. Are you clear now? Uh, an increased contribution of EPF of 12 to 19%, school fees for children 20,000, free accommodation in premise rented by EE Sanam Bahad for 7,000 per month. Mr. Corporate's wife is a homemaker with no income. They too have two children and under 10 years of age. You know what to do, no? Yes, no? You should know what to do, right? Have you done this? Okay. Okay. Kacang putih, right? Yeah. Have you done this before? Remuneration design. We got to do before, right? Still remember? Have a look. Uh, compute the comparative tax payable by Mr. Copper under each of the two alternative employment packets. Seven marks only. How much tax are you going to pay? Uh, compute relative cash available for for each package after paying his income tax, uh, children's school fee and rent. For the purpose of this part, you should assume the cost of children's school fee and rent will be the same for his employer and treat employer's contribution to EPF as available for cash. Okay. Explain the relative merit of each package. Four marks. <sighs> this is the total of 14, how many marks? 12, 18 marks, you know. Remuneration design. Do you still remember the question? Do you still remember the notes or not? Check your notes, like, we don't know where it is. Do you know where your notes or not? I did it under personal tax, individual tax planning. Remember? Still remember individual tax planning? And the notes. Technically, not the with Mr. Ramon, I modified it, and then the exam question come out like this. Are you clear? But she will repeat one, trust me. She will repeat. She'll ask the same question. She will, as long as the article is standing on standby mode, she'll ask the same question. You know, it's standby. She hasn't updated the article equals it's fair play. She can ask you. I think it came out last thing that remuneration design no much. No, uh, much came up. Combination design came out. Right? Never. Okay, never mind. Uh, Mr. Corporate, so how? Can you calculate now? Do you know how to calculate now? So all you have to do is calculate the what is this one called? Class note, this is called design. Personal tax. Okay, personal tax note D. Yeah?
You got accommodation benefit, remember that one? That's the only thing they have taken here. Uh, I'm going to let you fill up the reliefs. Are you okay now? I'm going to let you make your judgment call on the reliefs. Clear? And then you're going to also then calculate the chargeable income based on your calculation here. It's supposed to be very straightforward. Send marks, kacang putih stuff. The only complicated stuff here is basically the accommodation benefit. Do you know how to calculate the accommodation benefit? Yes, no? It's in your class notes. It's also the examination schedule. Check your examination schedule, got right? Don't worry, personal tax. Everything is available in the schedule. Just open the schedule. First page schedule, is it? Where is it? Ah, there. Look there, you should find more certain things. So certain should be available. Yeah, most of the things right here, except the accommodation benefit, which is supposed to memorize that rule. It's supposed to memorize the rule for accommodation. What's the rule for accommodation? Yeah. Yeah. It's lower than 13% of, uh, it's 13% of section 13.1a 30, or the defined value. Except if you're talking about control Yes, except for control companies. That's good. Still remember that rule. Okay. For a control company, what is it straight away? The defined value. The defined value, full stop. Correct. Are you okay? Still remember. No? You know how many rules you have to memorize, right? About 100 over rules. I, I did tell you it's a memory paper, right? I didn't tell you it's a... If you got a memory system, it helps. You got a good memory system. You got a memory system or not? You need a memory system. Yes. You don't have a memory system. Try the power system. No, no, power system should work. I don't know. I heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, I can find the power memory system for you. Ah, there. Go ahead, lah. I wasn't making it up. I know I heard of it somewhere. It's called the Person Action Object Memory System. First two digit become person, second two digit become action, the second next two digit become object. Each compound image is placed in the locus of memory journey. Damn it, once. If you can create the system, you are pro, la. you are P6, world price. <laughs> okay, no. Too late, no, it's never too late. Never too late. Probably need about a day to learn the system. <laughs> okay. Are you done putting in the cash amount? The cash amount will be how much? Uh, cash alone. Cash alone will be? 250. And cash and benefit will be? 150. School fees will be here. Percocet. Remember the Percocets? You have to add it back. So here it becomes 250,000, 170,000. Does that make sense? Uh, accommodation benefit is going to be the defined value. The defined value is going to be 7,000 times 12. You should get 84,000. 
or 30 percent times 170,000 so it's supposed to be 51,000 so which one do you supposed to use 51,000 you still remember all of this yes no no yes forgot everything so here is going to be 51,000 total income is going to be 250,000 Here is going to be two to one. Next, relief. Can you plug in all the reliefs? Well, follow the table. What do you get? First of all, you got personal. Personal is how much? Nine thousand and nine thousand. Okay, fine. Next, you got spouse relief. Um, I think they put 6,000, is it? Yes. Okay. Spouse relief at 6,000. Yes, no. Is it 6? Huh? Six, ah? Child relief is 6,000 as well. The first 3,000 were child relief. Wait, wait. Spouse is 4, right? Four, four. You're looking at the same, same table? Same table, no? Should be 4,000, right? 6,000 medical. I think you saw the wrong line. Is it? Four. Okay. And you need to be careful a bit. Don't pick the wrong number by line. Then you go on. Two children. This times two. This is also four thousand. Yes or no? Not enough. Uh, now this. <laughs> Correct or not? Eh, four thousand enough. Uh. One child already fifty thousand, thirty thousand. Eh, government giving four thousand. Eh, talking nonsense, this government. <laughs> okay, EPF, how much? Can you get the numbers? Six thousand. Uh, max limit for EPF is 6,000. So, chargeable income is going to be how much? What's your title link up? Seven okay, clear yeah. one nine. Okay. Uh, can you give me tax payable? You do, know, you do know how to calculate that one, right? You've done that a few times before, yes or no? Paying forty thousand, fifty thousand a year to tax. Ah, to kasiyan na. Tax payable is. 
42,300. All of you okay? Yes. Here? What do you get? I don't know. Cannot be so low. 34,420 is it? What are you getting? Why am I getting? What's your number? Why are all of you getting different numbers? <laughs> what do you get? 35,420. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Are you okay there? I'm getting worried with your calculation. Okay, huh? all okay, huh? Okay, huh? Uh, this one is the tax payable. You still have to calculate the available cash. Are you clear or not clear? Cash available. Got it? Can you tell me how much cash is going to get? Ouch, this is going to be a bit tricky for you. Okay, how? This one is going to be 250. EPF take at deduction for employees maximum. Employer? No, this is employee. Employee side. You have to take it off from here. You have to add the EPF from the employer side. So here, EPF deduction, you get the add back of 30,000. Here you get back add back of 
Are we okay or not? So the 150,000, you don't deduct it. Eh? How much is the income tax? 42380. Here was 35420. Here was school fee was rent was available cash is gonna be was already paid by the company. Now, under cash, you pay yourself. Are you okay? What do you get? is now the last one. Are we okay with all the numbers first? Yes, no? Clear? Can I? Any questions? 
follow okay the next part of the question basically looks at Hafiz okay um, income tax implication of each of the source of income okay look at how many sources you got here identify sources you got one scholarship two rental income ten thousand from residential property settled by Hafiz by his father who owns the portfolio of similar portfolios properties wages of one thousand per month received from ABC's number hut for part-time work 1000 per month. Okay, Hafiz is 19, unmarried, student and UM, engineering studies, sponsored by ABC. Okay. So, how now? What, what about Hafiz's situation here? What will happen to his income? There are how many sources here? Let's go one by one for Hafiz. This is part B. Hafiz scholarship. Okay, what about the scholarship? His rental income. Okay, all right. Half is is unmarried and below twenty one. So all you have to do is get him married, right? No? <laughs> Wrong reason to get your child married, right? No? <laughs> Half is unmarried below 21 years. Okay. The rental is settled by his father, the settler. Tax is no. And the last one is Yeah. Understand? Any questions there? Make sense. Follow up. Huh? 
guess it's earning too little. 1,000 is nothing much. Alright? 1,000 times 12 is 12,000. Rebate already how much? How much personal rebate? 9,000. You know, 9,000 then it's got 3,000. 3,000 and then got some more, got some more, some rebate there, right? Uh, your tax relief is already 9,000. It's 3,000. 3,000 3, times how many percent there? Eh? Look at the tax there. How much? 3,000? Zero, right? Is it zero? So no tax lah. Are you clear now? Follow. Okay, can I?